Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do my brow routine for you guys. A lot of people really on Snapchat was asking about my brow routine. So I'm here to explain in detail how I do it. I do not 100% love this technique, but this is what works for me right now until the pause. If you hear little people voices, um, that's my niece and my nephew. They are here. So I'm sorry about that, but let's continue. Um, I don't 100% like this technique, but this is what works right now until I find, um, until I find products that I am in love with, but yes. So, let's get started. As you can see, <laughs> I need to go get my eyebrows cleaned up. I actually like to use eyebrow pencils. The one I'm using is from MAC. It's called Stud. And I also use another one called Spiked. Anastasia Beverly Hills have one. NYX has one. I've, I'm recently trying theirs. Um, so I think I want to do a review on their eyebrow pencils. But I like to use the eyebrow pencils from MAC only because they glide on easier and they're very pigmented. So um, I like to use Stud and Spiked. The reason why I like to use two colors is because Spiked is a lighter brown but it's still chocolatey and stud is a darker deeper brown that's almost black but it's just brown so my eyebrow shapes all depends on my milieu right so if I'm feeling a little risque I'm gonna do a straight brow like I, I like my straight brows but my straight brows look really bomb when my eyebrows are cleaned up and I could get that real bomby like I mean I like a real nice clean straight brow and then the second brow shape that I usually rock, I rock a straight brow, but it has a semi-arch to it. That's my normal everyday brow. So what I like to do is I like to fill in the bottom line and then I like to move up to the top line so I could just have this part of my eyebrow filled out and then I can work on the wing later, like this. And you always want to make sure you're doing it with a soft hand like I'm barely touching my skin but this pencil is so pigmented that it's just picking up the color easily the base of the brow so this is done so what I like to do from there is I like to go in with my concealer so what I like to use underneath my brow is NC50 Studio Finish Concealer by MAC and I like that concealer especially for underneath my brow because it's thick and it will cover all the excess brow hairs that I don't want to show. So the coverage is full, it's a full coverage concealer and I just love it and I love this color for me because it's like my undertone with that and what brush I use with that concealer is a flat Morphe brush. I use that because it's easier to maneuver and it's really flat so I can get a nice sharp line. I like to just draw a nice straight line. Let's cover that blemish right there because I don't like it. I had a pimple and it scarred. So now we're going to work on the wing. So I'm going to do an arch. I'm going to go with the natural arch of my eyebrow. I like to use this Real Techniques crease brush to blend out my concealer under my eyebrow. So now that I have my shape, I like to go in with MAC Espresso Eyeshadow. I like to just coat the entire brow with this because my brow area gets a bit oily and the color could like fade off easily so I don't want the colors to move at all so I like to shade it 
in with um, the MAC Espresso and especially if I have any like blotchy areas in it it'll fill it in and it'll make it look real nice and seamless and I'll also put Espresso right in the front of my brow to um, have the little gradient soft gradient effect and the brush that I like to use for this is a Morphe 149 brush it's actually a pencil brush but it's small enough for precision but big enough to coat the entire brow so I won't be you know wasting my time trying to fill it in So because I don't have a lot of brow hairs, I like to make the illusion that I do have a lot of brow hairs. I don't see a lot of people using this next product on their brows, but I find that it works for me because it makes my eyebrows stand out. It makes the hairs look thicker and it just makes it look fuller, but and it also gives like the little natural effect that I got bushy eyebrows, which I love um, when I have a full face of makeup on. So the next item that I like to use is mascara. I don't have a specific brand that I really, really like on my eyebrows. It's just mascara. Mascara is a mascara to me. I'm not a real mascara person, but what I do look for is a specific type of brush for application. The product that I may be using is a Cosmetics Tight Line and it looks like this. I actually love this wand because it's really, really small and it just gets the job done and then I don't have excess product on my eyebrows. It's just enough to coat the brow the way that I need to. And when I do this, I like to brush up just like you do with brow gel. I like to brush these eyebrows, hairs up. Well, hell, I like to brush all of them up. this is the big secret to my eyebrows like there's nothing really special about these I just use mascara instead of um, brow gel which I think is basically the same thing mascara is just black and I actually like the black contrast on the brown products because it just makes my hair stand out a little more and it just gives you know like the little bushy effect and um, yeah and the thickness and I like that like I like it a lot so this is what I do it's nothing big I like I said I'm not really in love with this as of right now I haven't found any products that I'm in love with but when I do you know you guys will be the first to know because y'all my homies yes but this is a side-by-side -side comparison of my brows so this is the done one and this is the non done one and here they are together like brow drama right there like yes brow come through but anyway I told you guys it was nothing really spectacular about it like I just do them the best way I can but yeah that's it it's real easy so you guys get the products I showed you guys a NYX pencil as well that is a dupe uh, I don't want to say a dupe to MAC because it, kinda, it, it takes a little work to get that NYX pencil to be opaque and real pigmented you gotta go over it a couple of times. you want to see this makeup look this is coming up next so stay tuned for that don't forget to like share and subscribe you know what you guys I'm really getting comfortable in front of this camera like I'm not really like <laughs> people can hear me but not, like I'm not like that no more but yeah like I'm really getting comfortable with this and I have a giveaway coming up soon because you guys are my homies and like <laughs> y'all been good to me so i want to be good to y'all and what other giveaway to do than a highlighter giveaway because y'all know i love me a good highlight as you can see but yeah so that's coming up real soon be on the lookout for that don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will be back with another video you guys bye